I can't get up these stairs. I'm li literally stuck against the glass wall. It's not lag. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Hello there, my name is Vinny Voodoo and I finally had a chance to play Operation Monarch. Uh, and I've got to say, off the bat, I was impressed. It is still a battle royale and that's a bit of a pain in the ass. And I'll, I'll explain why I don't think they did a plunder version of it in a moment. But from the, from the outset, I quite enjoyed it. I think they put a lot more work into this particular limited time mode for Season 3 uh, than I was expecting. And the fact that the Titans move around blows me away but before we get there let's have our first gripe of the day and that is why is it every time there's one of these modes the daily challenges when you look at the map is always covered by the challenges of the mode and you think well you'd rather do these challenges the thing is i'm playing plunder there and you can't do those challenges in plunder so why even show me them and this happens every single season they show that these challenges in all modes even in ones where you can't do those challenges it's just a little thing like that that's a bit niggly but anyway i think the reason that they didn't include this particular uh, event in plunder is because you could do what i'm effectively doing here uh, find yourself a nice spot get yourself some munitions boxes get your favorite weapon that you want to do up and just blast the hell out of the titans uh, in fact when i'm playing this and when i played it to get all of this footage that's pretty much all i did because it was more fun than playing battle royale <laughs> and i think if you were in plunder you could just do this for the entire game and probably when they were testing it they realized that was the issue you can even do it as your parachuting in with just the, the stock pistol that you get in battle royale so that's the reason i, d I think that this event wasn't available in plunder uh, there goes kong jumping off I was, I was still impressed by that it's a bit hulky but i like it uh, and old uh, Godzilla here, he walks around, he never comes on land, as you've probably seen, uh, but he swims and walks. Wasn't expecting that at all. Uh, very impressed by that, but it does have its disadvantages, and that's clipping. Now, in a moment, he'll turn around, and instead of uh, his tail knocking down the lighthouse, it just passes through it. Now, whether or not that would mean you die if you're in the lighthouse, I don't know, but here it goes, it'll just clip straight through it. What am I expecting? I don't know, I'd like the lighthouse to collapse, I'll zoom in and show it again. It just clips through it, and in 2022, I don't think that's acceptable. But, again, this is a 15-day limited time thing, there's only so much time that he could spend on making these guys move, and they did do a good job of it. I just wasn't expecting them to move. And the old Godzilla there walks, he ducks down and he swims was not expecting any of that at all and of course they can kill you anywhere on the map from wherever they are he's got the old blue laser snot thrown at you and kong can fling his shit your way and kill you across the map it's like one of them has an airstrike and the other has a cluster bombing uh, oh, this is interesting. The uh, As the paleontologist in me loved the fact that these, these skulls and bones died around the map. And it'd be such a shame if they go after the event is over, but they probably will. Uh, in this bit, I actually uh, want to show you another bit of the clipping. Uh, old Kong's right foot there standing right on a tent. A tent, I might add. And it almost looks like he squished it, but when he moves, you can see he hasn't. Again, I'm not sure if you'd die if he was in there. I think you would. But uh, yeah, they didn't put any level of destruction or deformation of the characters there. Uh, but they did spend a huge amount of time on his facial expressions and his anger. Um, and he could have just had his face, you know, static, really. But uh, it is interesting that uh, compared to the CGI version that they showed, which I'll show in a minute, uh, it's not quite as good as what they promised it would be. However, it was it is better than I was expecting. Plus, you get to shoot Kong in the arse and you get yourself some arse intel. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with a bit of arse intel. But speaking of the CGI trailer that they showed us, I'll cut to that and, and watch the contrast between what we're just looking at there and the CGI trailer. Now, you could say, you know, that's the way it is. It's always been that way, but I don't think it should be. It's 2022, and there's no doubt that in my mind that PS5 and Series S and X could do graphics that look like this and not Warzone, because Warzone looks like it's running on a 360, especially in Caldera. I may be being a little mean there, but it's, it's certainly uh, not this good 
and I think it could be. But what do you think? Leave me a comment and let me know. Uh, there's not a lot more I can add. If you like Battle Royale, then this is a great mode. Uh, if you don't, it's certainly a novelty. Go and have a look. Um, but uh, I'll leave you with the old glass block. That's It's actually an arsenal. So we'll cut away from this CGI trailer and you'll see me uh, actually just walking on it here. Um, I don't understand how a bug like this could be introduced by the mid-season, but it was. Um, and you can not only get caught on it, uh, but you can get caught in it. Um, it's just uh, strange to me that this would happen. If you look at the, this bit here, uh, old flint mushrooms caught in the glass block and I'm actually caught on it. And the game seems to think that I'm walking through water because if you look down, you'll actually see splashes up in the air where you are. How does this happen? I don't know. It doesn't really affect anything. Uh, it's not a way to cheat or anything like that. It's just a weird bug that was introduced with the Season 3 update. Oh, eighth place. Thank you very much. Right, that's enough from me. My name's Vinny Voodoo, and thanks for watching.